improvement of flexibility without stretching. By definition, stretching is the action that pulls the muscle so that you increase the distance between the origin and insertion of the muscle. So what is the principle that we use in place of stretching? It's called lengthen. What's the difference? Well, first of all, we understand that stretching causes stretch reflex. When you stretch the muscle longer, then it feels comfortable. So in other words, you stretch beyond the edge of the comfort zone, which is essentially the definition of stretching. If you stretch within the comfort zone, you're just move, moving within the range of motion. But if you start stretching beyond the edge of your comfort zone, then the muscle starts sending signals to the central nervous system. Alarm, I'm being stretched. I'm under duress or I may get torn. So what does the central nervous system do? It sends the signal to contract to this muscle, which is exactly what we call stretch reflex. The muscle actually becomes shorter because it starts resisting the possible tearing. And that leads to the opposite result from what we expect or, or hope to achieve. If we start stretching and we hope to become more flexible, instead of that, we actually end up less flexible because the muscle becomes shorter or more tense. Wow, what a paradox. It actually explains thoroughly why so many people end up with really uncomfortable physical conditions when they stretch or simply they can become flexible by stretching. So what do I propose instead? First of all, observing the edges of our comfort zone, becoming mindful of the edges of the comfort zone so that we don't push ourselves beyond these edges. The reason why most people tend to push themselves over the edge is because majority of people try to stretch because they're motivated by the desire to become more flexible. So they have a dream of becoming more flexible. And most of our dreams and aspirations reside outside of the edges of our comfort zone. When they feel like there is a dream that they want to achieve and there is this edge of the comfort zone, well, they just simply push themselves over the edge, assuming that this is the way to get to where they want to go. Instead, most people push themselves over the edge, experience discomfort, as the name implies, and then they retreat back to the comfort zone. They run away from pain. They just can't stand it for long enough, or they just simply hurt themselves. Then when they recuperate, they try it again. They again push themselves over the edge, trying to stretch, and then they hurt themselves or they just simply cause themselves a stretch reflex. So the next day or two, they feel like their muscles are really tight. Well, if you keep doing the same thing and expect different results, that's what we call insanity, isn't it? What's the alternative? The alternative is to shorten your muscles first. If you shorten your muscle, you will not trigger any alarm. As a matter of fact, the muscle will report to the central nervous system. Mission success. I've achieved what I've been trying to achieve for a long time. I've been holding tension or trying to shorten because I was trying to bring these two ends of the muscle closer together. And finally, I've been allowed to manifest this dream. So in other words, we work with the body instead of working against the body. Instead of trying to stretch the muscle, thinking that the stupid muscle is just tense and stiff. It's tense and stiff because central nervous system is busy sending signals of contraction to the muscle. The muscles don't just contract on their own. They need to receive signals from central nervous system telling them to contract. So instead of fighting against the natural process that occurs in our body, we learn how to do it in accord with the natural method 
of how the body works. We shorten the muscles first. When we do that, the central nervous system receives no signal of alarm. As a matter of fact, it receives the signal from muscle that it achieved whatever it was trying to achieve. So the central nervous system stops sending signals of contraction to this muscle. As a result, what happens? The muscle becomes more relaxed. When the muscle becomes more relaxed, it doesn't receive signals of contraction. What happens? It naturally starts lengthening. The relaxed muscle lengthens much easier than tense muscle. Makes sense, right? Your task now is not to pull beyond the edges of the comfort zone. When you start lengthening or you start experiencing how your muscle is lengthened after having contracted first, make sure that you observe the principle of mindfulness of the edges of your comfort zone so you don't push yourself over the edge. You get to the edge and start exploring what it's like to be on the edge. As you explore, you will notice a few interesting things. First of all, that it's not as scary to be on the edge and move along the edge rather than perpendicular to the edge when you push yourself over or run away from pain. Moving along the edge also changes the culture of movement. You're no longer moving in a start-stop linear motion going against the pain that you experience and then running away from pain. Instead, you start moving along the edge and that's where the flow usually goes. What happens when your flow takes you for a ride? It usually takes you for a ride along the edge of the comfort zone. When you start exploring the ability to move along the edge, you actually discover that it's much more pleasant. And you may discover that there is sense of flow, which means you can relax into this motion. And this motion will take you for a ride without you necessarily orchestrating how it's going to unfold. Well, that's what we call going with the flow. When you go with the flow like this, you can experience the most profound sense of wellness and well-being. And the beautiful thing about it is that the longer you enjoy the ride, the longer you enjoy the process of exploring the edges of your comfort zone, the more you get used to being on the edge, the more you expand your comfort zone organically, just by default. And when that happens, your comfort zone becomes broader. Then you can get to the areas that used to be beyond the edges of your comfort zone. Eventually, getting to the area that used to be that dream that you wanted to manifest. You get to it not by going straight for it, but rather by exploring the edges of the comfort zone and eroding these edges so that eventually that which used to be outside of your comfort zone happens to be within. So they simply are not as uncomfortable being there. This is not something that can be applied only to increasing our flexibility. It can be applied to a variety of different things in our daily lives or in particular area of life in which you have a dream that you would like to manifest. So I often consider our practice of physical movement and physical flexibility exploration also a metaphor, an embodiment of the principles that you can apply to other areas of your life so that you become much more in the flow no matter where you go, whether it's business or it's intimate relationships or it's working with your own health or helping other people heal. It doesn't matter what you do, the same principles can be applied.